See, this is gonna be the tricky part because, it, like I said, the the line of light is pretty dramatic. Mm -hmm. And if you painted it like that, it could be distracting. It mm -hmm. could, you know, it might not look attractive. Oh, I see. What you're yeah. So doing, you know, artistic license, you try to uh, enhance that situation a little bit, and uh, and that. We'll be towards the end of this type of painting session. I'll actually put the photo away, yeah, and then not look at it anymore, and then try to Go use, yeah, try to use my knowledge of you know light and dark to enhance the the figure itself. Um, I have found that my figures look a lot better if I put the reference away at the very end, and and uh, that's interesting. Yeah. See, and this is the hand here. I, this this photo has been manipulated so many times that it's lost values in it. Oh, okay. So this this hand has it's too light. Yeah. You know, for the side that it's mm -hmm. on. So this is where I'm going to have to kind of use my head a little bit. You know, this area in here is just, it's not right, because, like I said, the photo's been messed with so much, it's lost the gray tones. You know, and I probably had a hand in that, too, because I messed with it when I was... Let me ask you this, when you call a hole... Just say it. That's it. You know, grayscale is done. Um, I actually have. I'll, I'll, there's a moment that happens when I become satisfied, and I, and and that is just part of the planning of what I'm going to do with the figure as I'm doing this part. I'll say, okay, well, I need to do this and this and this. But I'm not going to do it this with in this stage. I'll do it later, right. and uh, you know, I, because I you seriously, I could make this into a photorealistic illustration just in grayscale. But do I really want to do that? Because some of that is going to be taken away when I do the glazing of the oil paints. So it is kind of a fine line. I want it to look as as done, you know, almost like a finished drawing or whatever. But on the other hand, you know, I get a little antsy. And I want to start painting and finishing the things. So oh, yeah, I yeah, so um, it's it's just kind of one of those things you have to you have to kind of you kind of know when it's time to move on. She's, there's more shadow coming down on this from the side of her face. This line is too dramatic here. It is getting to the point where I probably would start thinking about getting a smaller brush and starting to tighten it up a little bit and maybe even getting out my blending medium and uh, and working a little more uh, wet and wet with the you know and blending things premium crackers huh this goes best let's see I'm brushing upwards on the hand on the underside of the hand Brush upwards here, bottom of the bag here, brushing upward for the shadow. Are you going to do it on the left side of the figure, the arm part? Is the back become shadow anyways, even though the picture is more white? I think I, I, I yep, exactly. The, like the artistic license comes in, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to paint this more of how I know a uh, arm would look in that sort of lighting. You know, because it's a lot darker already here than it is in the photo. Um, but mainly because in the photo, we're, we're only seeing 
to about here on the arm. Oh, okay. See, we're not seeing what he's actually okay. sculpted. We're only seeing to a certain point here, you know. Okay. And so that's that. Uh, that's when you can play a little bit and and uh, and start kind of guessing in a way. But you know, the old saying, "What you don't know won't hurt you," kind of a thing. You know, I don't, I don't know what it looks like back there, so I can yeah. do whatever I want. <laughs> True. And in this particular case, when I would display this, uh, I might include the original reference on my display to show, you know, where the idea of the figure came from. And um, so anyways, you're going to see a big difference in, in how this figure looks as opposed to the image and see, you know, where the painting and all that, that sort of skill comes in. So I haven't put a lot of detail in the face and everything. This is, this is about when I would start switching brushes. Um, and start going in and blending areas and doing detail. I don't know. I don't know if that does the light blow out the contrast on that, Stephen? It looks pretty good from here. Okay. Oftentimes when you put things under a light it'll kind of wash out what you've done. If you get it a little bit away from the light there, like so. Yeah, jumps in. Yeah, you can see the, the shadowing and the lights and stuff like that. So what do you think? Yeah, cool. So that was less less than an hour. Yeah.